everybody, this is me and you might see that I am by the iconic Lions Bridge here at Land Rover Burley Horse Trials. So I'm actually here a few weeks in advance for a little sneak peek of their course that they're just finishing setting up today. So Burley is a five star event and there are only about six of them in the world and it's probably one of the most difficult events out there. So I'm very excited to go and have a look at some of the fences today. I'm actually going to be here on cross country day which is Saturday the 7th of September for a meetup. It's going to be at 10 a.m. in the Celebrity Zone, so I really hope to see you guys there. So before we do our little course walk, we need a top eventer to help us and show us the way around. So let's go find one. So I'm currently here with top international event rider Willa Newton, who actually came eighth here last year at Land Rover Burley Horse Trials. So what does Burley mean to you? Burley is an incredibly special place for me. Uh, I grew up locally and um, we're based in Melton Mowbray, not far from here and it's always been a dream of mine to compete here. I rode in the under 18 pony club show jumping here when I was young, a few oh. years and so to be competing at Burley was always a dream and then last year when I came in the top 10 that was a huge, huge achievement and very, very special, um, a local crowd and it just means so much to everyone. So we're currently by Lions Bridge which is by the end of the course so should we go around and have a look? Yeah, let's go and have a look. So Willa, talk to me a little bit more about this iconic fence. So here we are at the Lions Bridge. You've already run through the water once already at this late stage in the course and it's quite a long span of water there so the horses are quite tired and you've got to come back into the water where there's a huge crowd, there's a lot going on. The horses are very tired at this stage and you're just wanting to get home so it's preserving all the energy as much as you can and giving them a good confident ride here until you get to the finish. So, wow, we are pretty high up here. We're on the flyover. And I think this is pretty much the first time they've had a fence on top, isn't it? Yeah, this is the first time they've had a fence uh, up here. Last year was the first time that they'd had the flyover. So it'll be interesting to see how the horses read this. Um, yes. you, I definitely can't see what's going on behind I though. think it's bigger than me. So. They're definitely not going to see till right the last minute. So it's a matter of really being there for them, um, making sure that they're with you and and that you have a really good confident jump here. The whole thing with Burley is the terrain, the big fences, is that every fence you want to have a good jump. The moment you start having a bad jump or you don't have a very confident feel, it starts to build up and that's when you can later have problems. So it's all about giving the horses a good ride and it seems quite a straightforward fence but you still want to have a good jump here. Yes. <laughs> So the horses would have just come up Winners Avenue and we're now here at another iconic Burley fence at Cotsmoor's Leap. Tell me a bit more about this. Uh, this is definitely a rider fright there. Yes. Um, and when you're walking the course, you never get, try and get too close to it. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely vast. It's like you can see the it. entire width of it and height. And a lot of people say you don't want to miss. No. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you've had a long gallop, like you said, up Winners Avenue. It's a, it's a big climb. Last year, was they did it this way around again, and you definitely feel the horses are quite tired at the top. I can imagine. <laughs> you don't want to be pushing them up there because uh, you've still got to get home as well. So you've got to let them come up, hit, up, come up there um, so that they're comfortable in their rhythm and you still can get home. But when you get to the top, you've just got to shake them up a bit and get them back to where you need them yeah. so that you can really attack this fence and get a good jump because it is massive and you need as much power as possible to get over and it. And you definitely want to get it right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We're here at the Trout Hatchery and I remember last year it was such a hot sunny day on cross country day so a lot of people came here really early on to get their seat, to get in the shade but also it can be a little bit dark in here. Do you find it can be a bit spooky for the horses? Yeah definitely. Um, we're at fence 10 here and it's the first time the horses have come into the water so it's quite dark under the trees and they'll definitely have a look here. I think that's why he's given you the option. Um, it's a solid, big solid fence in um, and nowadays with these frangible pins it could be a dangerous place to break a frangible pin. So we're at the second part of the trout hatchery and this log is pretty hefty especially with the water behind it as well. So how do you tackle that? Um, yeah it's a big fence in but you've also had the first part which has killed any kind of speed and momentum so you've really got to Get yourself together after the sea element to get up here in enough time to get a good enough jump in so that you're also on the right line for this, the third part which is jumping up the step and turning to the B element out. So there's a lot going on here, there's a lot of 
people as well and so you've got to really make sure that you you're on the right line you've got the correct speed and balance to give yourself a really good jump and ride through this combination so although this fence is really sturdy there are actually some safety features that have been built into it so here we have the mims clip system which allows the fence to give way if the horse hits it hard and prevents a serious accident for the horse and the rider. OK, Willa, thank you so much for taking us round on a little horse <laughs> walk and giving us a bit of a flavour of what it's like to ride here at the Land Rover Burley Horse Trial. So if you had to put money on it, who do you think is going to win? I would love to see Piggy French do the double after badminton on her lovely mare, Veneer Camera. Yes. I think the New Zealanders are also looking very strong. Tim Price and Janelle will definitely be out in force. The classic Moa is back to her best at Gatcombe. Um, as well as Andrew Nicholson and Swallow Springs, who had a brilliant Barbary. So they're all ones to watch, as well as the inform Oliver Townend, who um, he's got two horses selected for the Europeans, but I think if he had Ballamore class here, he could be in with a real shout. Yes. So I'd just like to say a huge thank you to Burley as well for very kindly inviting me up here on their press day. I'll leave some links in the description below to that as well. If you're new or have not done so already, be sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you all next time. Bye.